Hey, so today I'm here to do a first impression to get ready with me again. This is gonna be like the third one that I've filmed in the past few days. It's been three days, I filmed one each day. But yeah, tried some new things. Didn't love everything today, but uh, created this look. It's pretty, pretty normal, pretty natural. But if you wanna see how I got this look and what I think of all the new things, then just keep watching. <laughs> Have you ever had the same swatches on your hands for literally, I think, three days? <laughs> I was gonna scrub them off today, and then I put on self-tanner, and if I scrub that spot right there, it's gonna be completely white, so these are just gonna stay. Okay, so I've done my brows. I feel like they look kind of weird, but I'm over it. Then I went ahead and primed and set the eyelids, so I'm gonna try to move on here. Uh, I'm gonna be using the Lorac Pro Matte Palette. I love this little thingy. It's real nice. What I have in mind is just like smoky brown halo eye kind of, but all matte. So I'm going to start by taking Latte and using this as a transition shade. Oh shit, picked up the wrong color instantly. There's probably no point in me trying to do a halo eye. I'll just do it on the outer half because my eyes going to start watering. It Like it's already having a fit. I can feel it. If I try to put colors up in my inner corner like that, it's just gonna water away, so it's not happening. Now I'm gonna take corduroy, which is a deeper brown. Just put that all up in the crease as well. These blend together flawlessly. Lorac has the best eyeshadows, I swear. Now I'm just gonna take the shade Chocolate, which is a little bit darker, and deepen it a little further. I used one brush for that whole look. <laughs> uh, by the way, this is an e.l.f. blending brush. Yep, that's what it is. My friend has been looking for this brush. We can't find it anywhere. So, I don't know where it went. Okay, moving on. Two new products. So, I've been like on an eyeliner kick and uh, my favorite types of eyeliners are either super matte black eyeliners, which always seem to fail me, or like ultra thin eyeliners. If you've seen the like the Blink, what's it called? I think it's like the Blink Ultra Thin Eyeliner. It's from Sephora. Well, it's on Sephora. It's like the thinnest one I've ever used. I loved it, but I ended up breaking it because it got clumpy somehow. It was weird. So I seen that uh, Ulta and Sephora had new ultra thin eyeliners from their, their brand. So I got the Sephora brand, I got the Ulta brand. Here's the ordeal. I'm gonna shake them both up. I'm gonna show you swatches. Bub, uh, the Ulta one is scaring me. The, this side, the right, wait, my right? I don't even know. This side is the Ulta one. That side is the Sephora one. The Sephora one isn't that super black, but the Ulta one is super black, but it freaking bleeds like a maniac. Like, I'm scared to use it. It, it goes into every small crevice of my wrinkles, and I feel like it's gonna be messy. I'm gonna try it anyway. I'll show you the difference in tips. The top one is the Ulta one, the bottom one is the Sephora one. The Sephora one looks real good because it's like long. Usually whenever brands say that they have like an ultra thin eyeliner, it's usually like short and fat and that is not ultra thin at all. But the Sephora one looks nice. It looks thin and long. Uh, the Ulta one don't look bad, but it's kind of short and fat. So I thought I would just do like an eyeliner off and do one on each eye and see which one looks better and is easier. I'm gonna start with the Sephora one. Just, I feel like this one will be easier for me to use. <laughs> one of them said waterproof on it. Yeah, the Sephora one says waterproof. The Ulta one doesn't say it, but it might say it on the website, I'm not sure. So the tip on this Sephora one is kind of hard. Like, it's not very bendy. It is easy to use though. It's not matte, sadly, but apparently I can't win with the matte situation because they all fail me. Okay, let's try the Ulta one. This one's scaring me. Like, I just feel like you barely touch and it's just like so much fucking product is dripping out of this thing. It's like soaking wet. Okay, I definitely wish this was longer. It's, it's really short, but it looks blacker than the Sephora one, I think. Maybe it's not that noticeable. Mm -hmm. This one, I swear, it looks like charcoal. It literally is like, why aren't you black all the way? It's annoying the shit out of me. This one looks a little bit more black, but I will never find the perfect eyeliner, ever. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my Essence Lash Princess Mascara, and then I'll put on some lashes, and I'll be back in a moment. I'm gonna just go ahead and do that off camera. Finish this situation. Um, put on my 614 Salon Perfect Lashes. Okay, I've got a new primer to try. I don't know why this has intrigued me for a long time, so I just went ahead and got it. This is a Milani Prime Light Face Strobing and Pore Minimizing Primer. If it can really strobe 
and be like like illuminating and moisturizing but also minimize the pores and that'd be great because I feel like those two don't normally go together. It's real liquidous and it looks shiny. <laughs> that could have been like way too much. Hmm, maybe it is gonna like fill my pores because it does feel kind of thickly. It has like a slight golden sheen maybe. Uh, is it gold? I don't know. It comes out white but then like when I rub it in it kind of looks gold. Yeah, it's definitely like getting hard, like just doing something. It's becoming like tacky. It's really hard to like determine if our primer is good or bad after like one time of putting it on, but we'll see. So since I have on self tanner for once in my life, I'm gonna use my favorite foundation of all time, the NARS Luminous Weightless Foundation. Weightless Luminous? Luminous Weightless. I don't know. Mine's in the shade Fiji. I really want to get a lighter shade of this because I live it, but you know. It costs like a million dollars, so that probably won't happen. <laughs> like a million. This is three pumps. The pumps are very tiny. I feel like this will probably do my whole face and some. Because the smallest amount of this goes a very long way. It looks very yellow to compared to my face right now, but it'll be fine. This brush is shedding so bad. <sighs> I can tell my foundation has like a pole when I'm trying to blend it out. So whenever I use my Ulta Fabulous Face Foundation Primer, it makes everything super smooth. And then I feel like when I put stuff on top of it, it's very smooth and glides well. But this has like that tackiness to it. So, I mean, it might be helpful. It might make my makeup last longer, even though this foundation normally lasts forever on its own anyway. But see, I had enough to do me whole face. Perfect, perfect little amount. And it is very full coverage. I don't know why more people don't talk about this foundation. Like it's the best thing ever. It makes no sense to me. It looks like it's sitting kind of weird on my nose and I will surely blame the primer because I would never blame this foundation. It never does me wrong. I'm going to try to use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Press Powder in the shade Warm Light, but this is a very light shade so it might look weird. Yeah, it doesn't have very much color so it don't really show up very much. Okay, I'm going to use my Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer in the shade Porcelain, tin, I think. Love this concealer. It smells like pickles though. Like every time I open it, it's just like, why do you smell like that? This is definitely one of my most favorite concealers. The way this sounds right now, it sounds so sticky. The only thing I can really think to blame is the primer. It's like, it feels like it's sticking my face and being pulled up. I'm gonna use my Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade 110 for under the eyes and whatnot. I don't think this is too light. It's kind of like, <laughs> oh well, I like to be very highlighted. Then I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild powder for the rest of the face yet again. My skin looks fucking flawless right now. <sighs> this combination is so good. I'm pretty sure there's a glitter caked into this concealer over here, so it can just stay because I don't want to dig it out. So I'm gonna try out uh, Benefit Hula Light again today. Already tried this, obviously, but we're gonna give it a go for whenever I'm super tan and see if it shows up. God damn, it smells so good. <laughs> what the hell? Well, it definitely shows up. Oh, look at it. It's a little baby. It shows up all nice and light and gentle. I feel like I do have to do like several layers to build it up, but it is such pretty though. Bring it down my neck just to make sure my neck is dark enough for my face because I don't want to look weird. Every time I do that, I'm like, oh, this is such a light bronzer. And then it ends up making me look so much darker. I'm just going to uh, deepen it with Benefit Hula, the original. But yeah, it definitely still shows up on pretty damn tan skin. So I'm surprised and it's, it's awesome. It's such a light, gentle color. I feel like it looks very good around like the perimeters of my forehead because... It's not too harsh or anything. I'm digging it. It smells so good. That's like the main thing I like about it the most. <laughs> I'm going to use my NYX Baked Blush in the shade Solstice. It's basically like a bronzery color, but it's beautiful. Okay, for highlighter, I've got two new ones. Uh, these I both got as deluxe samples by going through Retail Me Not for Sephora. I have to say that like every video recently. But, uh... I thought I would just try them in this video because why not? This one is the most deceiving packaging ever. How does it come off? Oh, there it is. This is a lie. <laughs> this confuses my life. When I first got the, the package of this, 
I opened it and this was laying in there and I was like, oh my God, where's this lid? And I like looked around and I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I don't know, it's so weird to me. But this is from the brand Tristique. Is that how you say that? No idea. It says mini highlight stick. Oh, uh, it has a different name online. Just look up this brand, it's spelled weird, but this is such cute. And the color is nice. That's that's it right there. It looks fucking very highlighty. So I'm gonna try to apply this up upon my face. I don't I don't know what to use because recently I've been making wrong choices on that, and I don't know. I guess I'm gonna try to use my wet sponge. I hate doing this. It's gonna make me throw up. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use a dry sponge instead because wet just scares me. It's gonna fuck up all my face makeup. Not a super intense glow, which most Things I've been trying recently that are cream or liquid aren't. Like the most intense thing ever. Probably the most intense one I've tried is the Maybelline one and that one is fantabulous. The stick and the liquid. This looks very nice though. It's not moving around my foundation or anything. And then to put on top of that, I got a, a little deluxe sample of the Urban Decay Afterglow 8 Hour Powder Highlighter. I have one of these, I think. It's the pink one. It's a good highlighter, but uh, the, I got sent the the color Sin, which I've never tried before, so we're gonna try it together. This color is like a skin tone color. Oh god damn, that is glowing. Let's just put this on top of that one. Oh, that's, that is gold. That's gold. Good thing I ain't super pale today or this would probably look insane. Okay, it's pretty. It's not the most intense thing ever. Let's try wetting the brush with just some water. Well, that makes everything more intense. Get out of the fucking way. I am very much not a fan of, of gold highlights. They look you to me. Like, it would be fine if just the base I used was goldish and then I put something else on top of it, but I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't, I don't know why, I don't like it. I could most definitely use this shade down my nose or on my forehead because this is the type of shade that I would like on my forehead or my nose because it's like a plain color. Why is there literally hair everywhere? Yeah, it looks, it looks really good on the forehead. That's a nice shade for up there. And it looks fine on the nose. On my cheek though, uh, I don't know. Okay, I went ahead and got ready and now let's finish the eyes. I kind of have an idea of what I wanna do on them right now. So I'm gonna start by taking the real light color. Latte, oh my God, I just hit pan on it. What in tarnation? I'm just bringing that all the way in. Can't believe I just hit pan on this. Then I'm taking this shade, corduroy? Yeah. Putting that right up in there too. We got real smoky up under there. That's what just happened. I'm gonna take ColourPop Mr. Bing. It's like a warm brown color. I'm gonna put that in my waterline. Okay, for my inner corner, I wanna use a purple highlighter. I feel like I should put a base down first because when I did that yesterday or the day before that, I put a base down in my inner corner and then put a highlighter on top of it. It lasted forever. <laughs> I'm just gonna use my Maybelline Master Strobing Liquid. This one usually does me good, so hopefully he'll do well on the inner corner. Maybelline literally did this so right. Like, probably better than like everybody. Then I'm gonna take my, oh my God. What did I get all over this? <laughs> my Aurora Anastasia Glow Kit. Look, what is this? What is that, Li liquid lipstick? Why? It's ruining the beautiful packaging. I'm gonna take Spectra, which is a purpley shade. It looks pinky purple. We'll see what it does on the inner corner, I'm not sure. Oh, that just looks like pur or pink. P -p -p purple pink. That is pretty. I like him. I like him right there. I kind of want to try to put a little bit of that on my face so that it'll like match. I don't like that ugly gold, it's grossing me out. It used to be covered with purple. Let's just get my brush wet again. Like, my cheeks are gonna be so gross looking. Fuck yeah though. There we go. I wanted to put like some purple glitter up in there, but uh, the only one that I have is like this dark purple. I wasn't really wanting to use that. I'll take a little bit of this glitter injections glitter. It kind of has a purpley blue hue to it. Oh, the precious. My camera's about to die. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put on Essence Lash Princess Mascara on my lower lashes. Probably make a giant mess. That was the first time in my life that I did not make a mess. What? And then today I'm gonna use the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick. 
in the shade Sandstorm. I was going to use this yesterday, decided not to, but we'll use it today. I love using this color whenever I'm tan. It goes so well. Like, it's like a perfect tan nude. Okay, so this is a finished look. Turned out pretty, pretty decent. Um, kind of naturally nude again. If you want me to do something different and crazy, then let me know, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I think that's all for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll be back soon with more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.